Hey, hey everybody, it's your girl here, genuinely divine, coming at you today with a video all about Scorpio Sag, Scorpio Terrius. I'm not sure, but I'm here to talk about the cusp of revolution. Yay! Yeah, exciting. So, hey guys, let's chit chat just a little bit. Okay, let's chit chat. Um, yeah, Sagittarius. Um, those of you who were born between November 18th through the 24th, some through the 17th through the 26th, or something like that. Someone put it in my uh, messages that it is between, uh, it depends on the year in which you were born. And that's possible, you know, because there's a lot of people, lots of people will say, well, I really feel like I have all these traits of this cuspy, you know, and I was born on the 27th or I was born on the 28th. And yeah, if you feel it, then you're probably part of this or you have very very strong placements of these two signs okay so when we talk about Scorpitarius people the first thing that comes to mind for me is they are so misunderstood these people are the most misunderstood people on the face of planet earth they're very misunderstood. These are really good people. It's just that their mouth. They kind of like, they have a blunt way of speaking. Let's find out why. Let's go tick tock savers. Uh, even when the clock's go tick tock. Even when the world is coming to an end of my love. I'll save Let's do a little research on both of these astrological signs that live right next door to each other. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is the planet of transformations, rebirth. It's a very dangerous planet. It's one of those planets where you don't know. These people can be really dark. It can be dark sometimes and pretty gloomy sometimes. Then you have Mars, the planet of war, the planet of aggression, the planet of energy, you know. And so these people, they, they're very active. Mars is a very active planet also. Then you have Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Mars and Pluto rule Scorpio. Mars being the actual ruler of Scorpio and Pluto being the co-ruler. Now, some people may say that Pluto is the actual ruler and Mars is the co-ruler. However you wish to look at it, that's fine with me. I say Mars is the actual ruler of Scorpio and Pluto is the co-ruler. And so, with this being said, it's like, these people have triple energy that they have to deal with and a lot of times it's very difficult trying to balance out this energy, especially when these people communicate. The way that they communicate is sometimes really blunt. Sometimes they come off as being just assholes. I mean, really, I, I really don't know any other way to put it. It's like sometimes they are very mean and they don't mean to be. They're, they, this is the cusp of revolution. So these people are the ultimate rebels. They want to change things. They want to go against the societal norms. They want to create something new, something better. Because these people are extremely intelligent, very intelligent people. Scorpio ruling the eighth house, you know, the, the house of the researchers, you know, these people can be researchers. These are be the type of people always longing to learn more and more. And then you have Sagittarius ruling the ninth house, the house of higher learning and ph philosophy. So, and, and long distance travel. And so these people, even if they don't ever get on an airplane to fly anywhere, they travel in their minds, you know, they, they, they're very, they have a very abstract mind. A lot of these people, especially when they were younger, they probably were very gifted 
um, or were placed in gifted classes or things of that nature because they're just like super intelligent people like naturally and so um, and, and so with that being said sometimes this can play in your favor or it can play against these cuspies. A lot of times, if they don't know how to balance the energy, and especially young Scorpitarius, they don't know how to channel this energy. And a lot of times they find themselves in situations that they don't always wanna be in, but they're very likable people. Uh, just when they speak and, and, and they have to be around people who understand them because they're very blunt, they don't sugarcoat anything, and they're just really quick to say what they have to say. Also, they're very intelligent again, right? They're really smart. So they think they're smarter than their teachers. They can think they're smarter than their bosses. And um, yeah, so they can be very argumentative with their authoritative figures. And I mean, they can definitely ruffle some feathers. And when you do that in a job, although, you know, you are smart, Scorpitarius, Scorpitarians, you are very, very intelligent. But you also have to realize your place. Just a word of advice. Um, when, when speaking to your authoritative figures, you need to think before you speak. You know, don't, I know you wanna change everything, but if it's not up to you to change things, then don't, don't always voice your opinion because your opinion, unless you really have thought it out, write it down or something, recite it, and say it and, and get some opinions <laughs> before you actually go and blurt it out because the way you you have mars energy that aggression you have pluto that that um transformation and dangerous um you have jupiter expansion so when you speak you have aggression a lot of times and then you have a lot of it because Jupiter expands anything. So you have a lot to say and then it can transform your whole entire life in the matter of a few seconds. And that's not what you intended to do. And it may not be in the best way. Your transformation may not be in the best way because when you're speaking to your authoritative figures, and you come off as being aggressive, that could lead to termination in your job. So now you've lost a job, you know? So these people can, def you guys can definitely go through a, a tr uh, I mean, I mean, a line of jobs before you actually find that job that that's befitting for you. And just a word of advice, jobs that are great for this cuspy and strong Scorpio placement people in general is to work independently. You don't need to work for someone. If you do work for someone, you need to be able to work from home or just being by yourself, like an independent salesperson, independent driver, or you know, maybe medical bills or something, records or something, or you need to be the boss, okay? You need to be alone. You need to be the boss because you cannot stand someone standing over you. You need to feel like you're making the decisions of how you work. That's important for you. So yeah, that's something that you guys should think about. Also for these people like in love, like in love relationships, like love compatibilities, I definitely would recommend um, Taurinis. Taurinis are born around April 20th. I think it's, I'm not exactly sure when that cuspy begins so i don't have the exact dates but it's around um april 20th um or 19th and through like the 25th maybe don't quote me on that one but however it's around that time but taurinis i think will be a really good blend because you have all elements going on you have fire and water with yourself and then you have air and earth with Taurini. So I think, and, and they are the opposite signs of this cusp. So I see you guys working together really good with all elements, which is fabulous, fantastic, right? Also, I see you guys with Piscearians also. I'm a Piscearian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely can see that too because Pisces and Scorpios make really good relationships as water, two water signs. I really think so. Um, also, um, 
Aries and Sagittarius, they usually make really good, like, even if they don't make the best lovers, like Pisces and Scorpio make the best lovers. And then Aries and Sagittarius, for me, they make some of the best friends. So this can really be a really, really long lasting relationship. And even if it ends, these people can still remain friends. So I think this is really good compatibilities. I think cuspies need to be with other cuspies <laughs> so they can, um, understand each other i think the understanding will be a lot greater dealing with another cuspy because they'll be so excited to have someone that deal with their them constantly trying to balance out their energy so yeah i think that'd be cool but but again with um scorpitarians a lot of times you guys like in their a younger scorpitarians they usually make their parents really proud and even as they get older scorpitarians they usually make their parents or really proud they really do great things in their lives and you know they just they're they're amazing you guys are amazing amazing people and people always want to be close to scorpitarians but sometimes scorpitarians can seem so distant like and they have a way of making people feel so cold although they they have a regal air they don't think that they're regal actually they can be very insecure but it's just something about them that really attracts other people to them and other people just really want to be around them and i just really believe that's the intensity of um scorpio the the, the plutonic energy they're very very attractive like everybody wants to be around them even though they can cut you like a knife with their words People still want to be around Scorpitarians, you know? They just love you guys, and you guys are amazing. But one thing about Scorpitarians is that they can sometimes hold grudges, like in relationships, romantic relationships, and things of that nature. They hate to be lied to. They don't open up very fast or easy, and that comes from the energy of Scorpio. Um, it's like they can be very secretive in relationships until they really, really feel that they can genuinely trust you. That's when they really begin to open up. These people are freedom loving also. Um, and thanks to Sagittarius for that, these people are the explorers. Um, super duper smart. Um, always looking for a new adventure. Not always necessarily just going outside and, um, bungee jumping or anything, but just the new adventure in whatever they like doing. If they love to study, then the new the, the new lesson that they're going to study. If they love to travel, then yeah, then that, that next trip they're going on. They're always planning ahead. These people are very self-taught. They're very self-disciplined. Um, they don't really need someone to constantly stay on them. Even as a child, these people were usually pretty self-disciplined. They were the ones who were pretty, was the one that researched pretty much everything they want to learn. They're constantly looking for new ways of learning, new ways of thinking. And, and, and that's what makes these people such geniuses. These people can actually be a genius if they learn to balance out these energies. Once you guys learn an evolved Scorpitarian, they are amazing. They're generous, they're loving, they're kind, they're explorative, they're explosive. They're amazing. They're amazing. And when it comes to sex, these people are, oh my God, these people are highly, highly, highly sexual. Even when they were really young, they were really sexual. They probably started masturbation at a very young age watching porn at a very young age um just highly intensity anything that these cuspies do they do it with high intensity thanks to pluto thanks to the aggression of mars and the expansion of jupiter whatever these people do they do it big. Yeah, i do it baby i do it baby i do it baby ah. yeah anything that they do they're gonna do it real big so 
Uh, even with gifts, these people give awesome gifts. You're gonna get what you want from these people. They don't really just go in and just get you anything. These people give you nice gifts. They give you these type of gifts that you're like, oh, thank you so much, oh my God. Like lasting gifts that you never forget. So yeah, super duper amazing cuspy, super duper, super duper. Um, also with these cuspies, like when it comes to matters of the home with these cuspies, these people, a lot of times they're not at their home. They probably travel a lot or they work a lot because Scorpio gives them that passion. Mars gives them that drive and then whatever they do again, Jupiter, they do it big and they just they're just constantly on the go they're on the move either because of their career or or their um children because these people a lot of times they can have really good good relationships with their children and strong relationships and um they're you know they can be really good parents to their children you know so a lot of times they may not be at home a lot they may travel a lot they may work a lot but when they are home they're probably reading or studying or trying to learn something different they may not be big tv people because they really like to learn they really like to read so they could be but i don't think so a lot of them um probably read or they're gonna find something or they're looking for a new way to um create some new income new revenue coming in for them or something like that i love these cuspies yeah and the elements of this cuspy is water and fire water and fire wow Sometimes Scorpio can definitely put Sagittarius fire out and sometimes these people can become overly emotional sometimes these people can be overly possessive in relationships they can be just just overly secretive I just don't like that trait of Scorpios they're really secretive they're really sneaky you know I like like the analysis of Scorpio is like a leaking faucet and it's like you don't know that this faucet is leaking but by the time you realize that your faucet is leaking it has done so much damage to your floorboards of your cabinets and things of that nature and now you have to really go in and reconstruct things so that's how these um um scorpitarians can be sometimes they can be really destructive to someone that has crossed them or double crossed them they can be very destructive they can be very sneaky and they sting they really sting and they can be so unforgiving they can hold grudges for a while even though they have the Sagittarius energy hopefully if they have a lot of the Sagittarius energy it depends on the degrees are you on the back end or you're on the front end because if you're on the front end of this cuspy you have more of the Scorpio um, traits and if you're on, on the back end, you have more of the Sagittarius traits where you are freedom loving and you're you're easy to forgive. But um, the stronger the Scorpio energy is, the more likely you are to hold grudges and be so unforgiven. But word of advice, Scorpio, everybody makes mistakes. No one's perfect and there's no need of holding grudges because it's just extra baggage that you have to carry and it just holds you back and it just holds you down and it keeps you from reaching that point that you're supposed to reach because you were put here for greatness and you're a fighter you fight for others and you can't hold grudges because holding grudges doesn't allow you to fight fairly for everyone because the ones you're holding grudges for you're not going to fight for them you're going to fight against them so just keep that in mind if you're going through job loss or constantly moving from home to home or just keep going through a whole lot of transformations in your life think about some of the grudges that you're holding some of the negative energy that you're holding that's what you're attracting into your life until you learn to let go of negativity bring in positivity you you guys definitely need to meditate everybody does but you guys need to meditate often as often as possible you need to always think positive 
um, at all times. Even when you're speaking, you need to be thinking a positive, positive aspect. Um, because until you evolve into what you came here to be, you're going to have difficulties and a lot of different areas of your life. So just keep that in mind, Scorpitarians, and just remain who you are, but just remember that sometimes your words, when you realize that people are like uh, pulling away from you, they become distant, you, lo you lose your spouse or partner, and you just don't understand why, why, why. It's because of the way you come off. It's the way people perceive you. Although you, your intentions are awesome, they're always good, but it comes off in a negative aspect and you easily hurt other people's feelings. And even though you don't mean to, it happens. So that, that's, that's the biggest thing for me with the Scorpitarians is that you definitely just need to learn how to channel these energies, reach that point of evolution, <laughs> reach that point of where you're supposed to be and you guys will be the best, best. You guys love honesty, awesome leaders. You guys are just amazing in so many different ways and I really love you guys. I know a couple of Scorpitarians and I think they're amazing. I think they're very amazing. You guys have done really awesome things in your life or you will do really amazing things in your life that will be something that will be passed down from generation to generation. You guys are amazing and I wish you guys so much love, peace, and many wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blessings. And until the next time we meet, bye.